Welcome back to Daisy, the finale of my most recent series. In this episode, you'll see me reap all of the rewards from a profitable 3D printing business which I built up as a solo and have shared over the recent weeks. It's going to be a short but albeit wholesome episode and there's a treat for all my subscribers at the end so stay tuned until the end and I hope you all enjoy. Welcome back everyone to Daisy. You are joining me in my nice little solo base here for what is now the sixth episode I believe this will be of the series and we have a hell of an episode in store for you today because we are going to sell our boxes of mid-tier parts which are worth a lot of money 1.8 million to be exact and we are going to call this the chapter finale of this series in a couple of days time i'm actually going away on holiday for a week base still down there look, looking pretty much the same as it did before and of course we're going away on holiday for a week i imagine my base will be gone by the time I get back and things probably won't be the same. And I think rather than restarting something completely different, we'll do a bit of a chapter two when I'm back and I'll start a new base somewhere and we'll go from there like that. But as promised, I am going to try and sell all of these boxes. Now I think what I'm going to do is stash them and go and sell them one at a time. Because that's probably the easiest way to try and do it without losing all my money, but I don't know. I don't know. It might just be better to do it all at once as well. If no one's there, then it's better to do it all at once, surely. It just depends. I'll stash the bag outside maybe and run in and see and see how I feel. Oh, shots. Well, I hope you guys have been enjoying the series anyway. So make sure you subscribe, of course, if you haven't already. That way you catch the new episodes as they release. Let me put these all in the same, in the right bag. There we go, nine. Nine boxes, 1.8 million, wasn't it? We lost uh, the last one. We didn't lose it. I started the thing before the restart. That's my fault. I could probably buy a hell of a lot more filament now. But I think my 3D printing days are done, guys. We had our fun, made some money. We've got these boxes to sell now, but I don't think I'll be 3D printing anymore. Honestly, if I didn't have to go through the black market every time to sell my stuff, then I'd probably hang around a bit more. Or I'd probably be interested in doing it even more. I have seen you can make some attachments and some other cool stuff. But, yeah, I don't think I'll be 3D printing these big boxes for money anyway. Put it that way. Yeah, see, if you look, there's, there's filament for sale. Not too cheap, but, well, 75 there, 75, yeah. The great filament inflation is over. I don't know. I can't think of anything with words. <laughs> Chicken tikka, tell me what's wrong. Yeah. I don't know that song. <laughs> what the song? Yay, Chicken tikka, tell me wrong. <laughs> You know what came to my mind when you said sing something? All I could think of was the Orokai from Lord of the Rings. It goes, da da da, da da da. Okay, I think I've put this off long enough, and it looks like the sun is actually going down. It is. So I might just get this run on the way. Everyone thinks I'm at Cliff Trader. No one knows that I'm going to be going to Altar right about now. I might just be able to slip in, slip out, get this black market deal done. And I'm also sort of bored of waiting. I need to just get it done. One way or another, we need to find out if we're successful or not. I'm going to go in all bags and we'll just hope for the best. If I lose my money, I lose my money. I think this uh, night time could be a perfect sort of uh, period to get it done in. going to be a small window, but 1.7 till I'm there. The sun's going down now, so it should be dark by the time I'm there. Right, there it is. I can see that through the trees. I think what I'll do is drop my drop my bag here. And I'll stash this, or mark it. Okay, so that's my bag marked. And now I'm just going to run in and make sure that no one's there. Or see if anyone's there. At least now, if I die, I won't lose my kits. I'll have another chance at it. Okay, it looks like it's clear. Let's go back quick, get the bag quick. See, this is why I didn't want to leave it outside. <laughs> if I had it, I could have sold them by now. 
Right, this is probably the best chance I'm going to get, guys. If it goes wrong now, then, you know, I can't do much else. I got him, yeah? I got him. I really tried my hardest to get a good sell here, guys. So if, it, if someone jumps me, they jump me. There's not much else I can do. Come on, 1.8 million. Come on. Okay. Sellable. I can just do the thing inside after spam. Nine. Sell. Yes. Got a DVD to sell. All that for 10k. Okay, right, go. Go, 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 go. Let's make sure I got the money. Yeah, oh, I got the money. Oh, I got the money. You see that, guys? Did you see that? Okay, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> oh, I'm getting out. Come on. <sighs> All right, guys. We did it. We did the sell run. I have been dreading that for a while. Let's get a marker on for Altar Trader so I know where I'm going. Straight this way. Soon that sun's going to go down, which will be better for me. It'll give me a little bit more cover, I feel like. Okay, I'm going to put on the MVGs. I think it's still a little bit bright for them, but it's not going to be long until it's proper dark. That should be good, though. That should give me a little bit of cover for this last open bit. I think it's 500 meters safe zone with Altar, so I'm almost there. Yep, there you go. Oh, we made it, guys. Look at this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So that's 1,800 there. Plus the extra 10,000 that we got from the cheeky little VHS tape. Whew. That is nerve-wracking stuff, that right there, guys. Damn. Nerve-wracking stuff. Never gets any easier running into the black market trader on your own, I don't think. It never does. It only gets easier when you just have a certain amount of detachment of just like, if I die, then who cares? That's the only thing that makes it easier. But we did it. And that will hopefully be my last black market run round here. Alright, we'll travel straight back to the cliff trader. I want to store my money in the ATM, but we'll do that when we get there. To the cliff. And here we are. 1.81 million up there. Look at that, guys. Do you see if there's anything to buy? Wanted to see what blueprints there were. You see, the raid alarm ones got uh, got picked off pretty quick, it would seem. Over a thousand listings on here now. Pack. Oh, Pokemon booster pack. 50k. Let's go. Lonely monkey. You absolute... Oh, no. Loony monkey. You absolute legend. I will take that off you. Geezer. Finally, someone had listed a Pokemon pack, guys. Let me put this into the generals. I'll see if anyone's uh, anyone's selling Pokemon packs. There we go. See, I got one in my bags. We'll save it till we get back to uh, to base. Yo, Looney. Is that you, homie? Yo, yo, how's it going? Yeah, you're right, mate. How's it going? Yeah, good. You? Yeah, all good. Yeah, come come over here, mate. How you doing? All right. Yeah, not too bad. Nice. I've got some red, red filament as well. Uh, I'm just after packs at the moment, mate. I'm leaving the uh, filament okay, business no behind. Uh, have you got two, yeah? I'll give you 100k each for them. There you go. Uh, Alright, there you go. Thank you very much. Cheers, mate. I bought your uh, ones on the have fingers now as well for 50k. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I wondered. Mate, if you get any more, I'll take them. 100k each. Okay, no worries. Alright, have a good one, mate. Yeah, you too. Three packs of Pokemon cards. Absolutely sorted. Oh, I can't put any money away. I didn't think this is what the episode was going to be, but you know what? I'm so I'm like totally for it if it goes that way. <laughs> Should we just try and hoard as many Pokemon packs as we can with all the money that we have? I think that's just the best idea. We've been trying to fill that binder for a long time. And the thing is, when I go away on holiday, I might lose the base. But I will keep my money, because that's in the ATM. And whatever I log off with as well. So I'm going to be able to log off with a lot of stuff. Including my binder. So the binder goes on, guys. We don't have to worry about losing that. I'm honestly just looking to see what I can spend some money on. I've got too much money. My ATM's full. I could buy... What could I buy? <laughs> what could I buy? What's, what's worth buying right now? Oh, I'm not buying singles. Alright. The, the plan is to not buy singles at all. I just want packs. We are wheeling and dealing for some Pokemon packs today, guys. You want the packs, I'll still sell them to you for 100k. Oh, absolute legend, mate. There you go, dude. Thank you.
Thank you, man. Pleasure doing business. Good luck, bro. Appreciate it. Five packs. Come hang out up here, Lucifer. This is this is the spot that I like. You got a nice little view of the place. Look at them, boys. Five packs. This is what the series has been building up to. This whole time. Okay, I need to complete the run back to base to try and uh, store away these Pokemon packs. I'm obviously going to be opening some more up later on, but for now, I just want to do these ones. We'll try and sneak back to base. And hopefully we're not getting door camped, because I have been in the chat, obviously, asking about Pokemon packs. Okay, like I said, I'm pretty sketched out. I feel like I might be getting door camped. I don't know why. I'm just going to bomb it in as quick as I can. There we go, I'm in. Close. Ah, we made it, guys. Into the base. Safe and sound. There we go. It's time to open up some Pokemon packs, guys. One at a time, then. And let's just see what we get. We got our binder here that we can slowly fill up and see what we need. Let's get these packs down, shall we? First pack. Gust of Wind. Bulbasaur. Uh, Dratini. What's that? Tra oh, Pokemon Trader. Tangela. Tangela. Kakuna. Charmander. Seal. And Nidorino. Okay, not the best ones there. Not the best ones, but we'll fire them into the binder. Let's see, filling up, filling up spots. That's what we need. Just filling up gaps, and we've already got those two cards. So we'll grab those on us for now. And any duplicates, I guess we could either get another binder or go and sell. I'm not really too sure. I guess we only really want to do the one. Okay, next pack. First one, not great. The card we really want is 102. That's a shiny one. Okay, so we've got Charmander, Beedrill, Water Energy. Kakuna, Imposter, oh, Imposter Professor Oak, Electabuzz, Nine Tails, Magnemite, Poliwhirl, and Squirtle. Nice, I like Squirtle. That's a good one to get. Three to go, guys. Three to go. We want that 102. The 102 is the shiny Charizard. Grass Energy, Kadabra. That's pretty cool. Uh, Blastoise. Nice, nice. Blastoise. The Charmeleon. Okay, okay. Double colorless energy. Magnemite, Venusaur, that's a good one too, it's a good one too, Staryu, Potion and Pikachu, oh yeah, that was a good pack right there, I think, that was a, so many that I needed, boom, boom, okay, and then we got a couple of duplicates here, look, okay, look, the binder's looking so healthy now, jeez, All right, here we go. Abra for the first one. That's very cool. Oh, wait, I don't know why I'm picking them up. Let me drop that back down. So, Abra, Clefairy, Electabuzz, Imposter, Professor Oak, uh, Nidorino, Wartortle. That's good. Ratata, Machop, Machamp, and Psychic Energy. Starting to get a lot of duplicates now. Wartortle definitely needs to go in. And we got all of these. All right, and the last pack is Ratata, Imposter, Professor Oak, Jinx. That's cool, that's cool. We definitely don't have that. Bulbasaur, we've got Clefairy, we've got Maintenance, Pokemon card, Pidgeotto, Pin Ponita, and a few others, which, again, I think are duplicates. We're at that point now where we've got quite a lot of the cards. Yeah, it's a lot of duplicates. Yeah, those are, these ones that here are all duplicates, okay? So, this is where I'm at. I feel like I'm just going to store these ones in down here for now. Well, now that I've retired from the 3D printer trade, I need to find a new source of income. Because otherwise, I'll just spend all my money on Pokemon packs, and then I won't have any new money. I don't know, 40,000, something like that? Oh, sh bro. Yeah, but take these, please. Like, just no, I mean, I don't want it, mate. Oh, please, please. I don't oh, want please, it. Please, please, I don't please. want the PBS. Like, you, we'll keep the money, because I don't need take it. take them and, like, double and pass it to the next person. Okay, alright, okay, yeah. Do you want yeah. a... Thompson. Thank you, my friend. I appreciate it. <laughs> okay, yeah, nice. Oh, Thanks. my friend has a PPSH. Do you want a PPSH? Or should I double it and give it to the next person? Double it and give it to the next okay, person. Okay, okay, cool, cool, cool. <laughs> I'm gonna need to go buy some. Bro. Hang on. Bro, they're 20k each. Oh, this is gonna go badly. Bro, I don't even have room for them. Here we go. Who's the next person? 
Who's the next guy? Who's our next contestant? Would you like two PPSHs? Or should I double it and give it to the next person? Double it, double it, double it. Double it. Okay, cool, cool. Hey, bro. KJ? I ain't got room, so double it. <laughs> so all of them, what do you mean? Bro, I ain't got no room, so you're gonna have to double it. Four PPSHs. Are you sure? I I've got no room, dude. <laughs> oh, okay. I'm gonna have to buy a bag now. So I need eight more PPSHs. I'm just gonna withdraw all my money. This is such a waste. I don't care. This is gonna be funny. We got six on us, so we've got two more. Okay. Would you like eight PPSHs? Oh, or should I double it and give it to the next person? Yeah, I'll give it to the next person. Okay, okay, cool, 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 I need another eight. Oh, that's 160k. Did they even all fit in my bags? I don't even know how many I've got on me at this point. 16, yeah, it's 16. Bro. Okay. You're paying 20k. <laughs> don't, don't remind me, please. <laughs> Surely someone will come that will want 16 PPSHs. You want the pack? Pokemon Cup? Uh, yeah, I'll take it. There you go, mate. Thank you. Okay, that's three packs. And I've also been wasting some money on PPSHs. Are you going to be opening it or uh, saving them? No, no, I'm saving them up. i got three on my bags right now. I'll save them up and then open Wait, them at not, base. Um, oh, is it? Yeah, didn't work out. Well, I don't think anyone's coming. So, I mean, Kino, I started with you. No, no. Do you want 16 PPSHs? Say yes, say yes, take it. Wait, how much would like 16 more cost? I don't know, man, just, <laughs> I don't know, too much. It'd be like, it'd be like 350k, yeah, yeah. So you'll take it? I'll take it, yeah. but then I'll give it back. What? No, no, you know, it's yours. Yeah. Yeah. How the f am I gonna get this back? Uh, I don't even know. They're yours now, though. <laughs> <laughs> just sell them. Just go sell them. <laughs> just go sell them. <laughs> uh, no, I'm, I'm going to keep No, them. sell them. Sell them. Sell them. them. Keep the cash. I mean, I don't even think they're useful. Nah, they're useful. Hey, it was a fun game, though. And I'm glad I didn't have to go to 32. Okay, I'm going to head back to base. I'll try and store these packs away. Okay, I'm in. Nice. Made it back. And... It's time to open some more packs. Here we go. So, first one. Fire energy. I'll just put them straight in this time. Fighting energy. Pokédex. Pokémon Flute. Clefairy, we've already got. Abra, already got. Cocoon, already got. Okay, Magnemite. Ratata. Ratata. And Super Potion, which I already got. So, I did get a few there, which I didn't have already. Okay, second one. Is another Abra. Far-fetched. Uh, grass energy, which I already got. Lass. Uh, computer search. Squirtle. Poliwag. Wartortle I got already. And Onyx. I needed Onyx. Okay, cool. And then I got one more. Raichu. Yeah, I needed that. Growlithe. I got. Dugtrio. I needed. Mewtwo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool. Computer search we just got. The lightning energy I need. Bulbasaur, nah. Pokemon Flute, nah. Pokedex, nah. Water Energy, nah. Another War Turtle and a Squirtle as well. Okay, so... Does this say how many total we've got? Nah. But as you can see, I mean, we're still missing quite a lot. <laughs> but that's, that's filled up quite a bit of it still. That's filled a lot of the gaps. Get these put away. In with our duplicates, which are here. I need to get some more binders so I can keep them organized. Uh... I don't think here. Maybe go to Altar. Have you locked it? Oh. Uh, no, Have you seen this fa fast travel board here? Yeah, yeah. So if you use this, you can go to Altar. There might be one there. Because there's like a petrol station there. Try that. Alright. Good luck. Okay, so I've got 620 odd thousand left. It's, it's pretty good. One thing I do need to do is take a little bit of money out just so I can uh, buy a couple more binders. Because I want somewhere that I can store my duplicates. 
I'll try and get a couple of sets. I might be able to get like a set that's only a couple cards off completion and then sell that. Or something like that, you know. There is a blueprint available. The Canted Grip. 50k. Now, I did say I wasn't going to go into blue uh, into printing, but I didn't print this one, so let's do it. I'm going to buy that right now. 50,000, I think, is pretty reasonable. And what do I need for that? Does it tell me the requirements of it? Canted Grip. On time use. No, I don't know what filament I need, but it will tell me when I when I get there. So I'll just do that later on. I mean, it's probably not really worth it just for one canted grip. I don't know how, really even how good that is. But you know what? Just for the fun of printing something, we'll do it. Ah, I need to get back to making some money. And I need to try and find some sheet metal. One way that I can do that is by having a fresh run from the coast. But I haven't died from this character in so long, I don't really want to. Okay, let's go. I'll get this stuff back. There's not really anything going on right now, to be honest. While I might have hung up my gloves from the parts printing industry, I still do want to do some of these custom blueprint things. And the canted grip is interesting because it'll be an attachment for a gun. So, hopefully it'll be better than what I've got. Alright, we made it back in. Once again, safe and sound, back from the trader. I really want to try get some sheet metal at some point. Okay, here's what I'm going to do is just take one of these binders right here. And just start filling. Uh, there we go. Look at that. And let me just double check that when you can't get to that. Yeah. So you can have these two. You know, this is fine. These are just duplicates. Just duplicates outside. But when you go in here. Oh, look at that. And I'm not going to say it's almost full. But, just looking at it, it, I'd say that's over half. Just roughly, that looks over half. So, I think we're doing well. So, I think I'm going to get my printer going. Oh, I don't think it does have any fuel. Let's see, I think i got jerry can full of gas up here. I might have left it on at some point. Uh, in fact, I think I did leave it on. So, that there will be the issue. But no problem, we got some gasoline in the base, because I am a prepared individual. Fill this up. And is that really it? That's all it takes. So the joy of having it down on this end of the base now is that uh, I can just tuck away in here and then take my earplugs out and I can barely hear it, honestly. If I come over here, you can hear it a little bit. But more or less, it's all good. Now I need to sort out this uh, this little bit here, like, as you can see. It's a bit glitchy. I probably could have done this a little bit better. Now, yeah, this is what I uh, printed before, but then without thinking about it, I logged out. So you can see there's half a filament in there. So what else can I produce with half of, of a red filament? Okay, so let's put in our USB. Is that? Okay, that's on this one. Oh, it's that one. TAC canted grip. Wait, is that what I've got already? TAC vertical grip black. It might be, yeah, but it's a good one anyway, so... I think it's worth putting it in. Now, what do I need? Doesn't say. Let's just toggle the tray, put the filament, see if that's good. 100%? Yeah, I guess that's good. Wrong filament. Yeah, wrong filament. I need the blue. I need blue for it. That was expensive. I didn't realize this grip was that expensive. Okay, well, I'm just going to have to put it away for now then, I suppose. And that, guys, is the last clip I have from pre-recordings before I went away on holiday. The next day after this, me and Sophie went away to Cyprus. And if you want to hang around for the next few minutes, I got a little bit of vlog footage and stuff, which I want to throw in here at the end. If anyone's interested in seeing how the holiday looked, then that's what the ending of this video is going to be. I'm sorry this one wasn't too action-packed. It was, in fact, very quiet. And I didn't manage to get as much footage as I wanted before I went away. But I just want to get this uploaded now, and then I can get started on Chapter 2 straight away. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed it, and please enjoy the vlog. To the hotel. We're on our coach. Paphos is out the window, or a car park is out the window. Nice GT down there. I haven't even opened my jelly tots yet.
Ich bin zoomed in. Oh. And I'm recording. <laughs> Bit messy, aren't I? Well, it's late night here in Cyprus in Paphos, just out having a vape out of the hotel. I'm turning it around on front cab, so it's not the best. But this is the view that I got. What do you reckon? Not too bad, I'd say. Just taking it all in. Really nice, really relaxing. It's been good to get away from Daisy for a bit. Still repping, of course. You know. I know the vlog probably hasn't been very good. I'm not much of a vlogger. I'm take these off so you can see my eyes. It's the first one I've ever done. So, a bit of a learning curve when you're not just playing DayZ. Turns out it's also just embarrassing to start filming yourself around the place. Keep waiting for someone to peer out and look at me. But yeah, guys, this is it. Paphos. Go. I figure it's only right to show you guys. Since all the support you give me has enabled me and Sophie to come out here and enjoy it to our fullest. So thank you. We took a nice uh, bus ride out today. I'll put a couple of the photos on. Sort of went into the middle of nowhere, really. Um, but it was nice, you know, nice and relaxing. It was busy around here, a lot of tourists. So it was nice to just get out. There was a little, little bar we added some ice cream and there was two locals sat there drinking their beers drinking beers straight in the car afterwards, a little cheeky five and drive. They do it different out here, they do. They just do it different out here. Anyway, I'm gonna get back inside to Sophie. She's gonna wonder where I've been. Hopefully see you guys soon. Try and get an update. We're going to Coral Bay day after tomorrow. Tomorrow we're just gonna hang around the pool and that's it. And then I'll try and give you an update the day after that. We'll go to Coral Bay and I'll try and film a little bit of it there because it looks really nice. And the food looks good too. We had Thai tonight. Thai was good. I had steak last night. Steak was very good. Expensive though. <laughs> very expensive. All right, gang, we made it. Coral Bay Beach. It's very nice out here. Mrs. Nash just got changed, throwing a hissy fit because there's sand on the beach. Sand on the beach, can't believe it, can you? Look, well, it looks nice, doesn't it? Here she is. I just got a bra on my I told him you got upset because there's sand on the beach. <laughs> yeah, it looks good, like doesn't it? There are apartments up there. Oh, Those are some nice apartments up there, look. Yeah, You're going to enjoy the day about halfway through my book. Just realized I didn't give you guys a room tour. So, starting here, Mrs. Nash is in the shower. This is where we begin. I'll give you guys a little rundown like this. This is where we are. We've got this, uh, got this all cordoned off with the blinds because there's a <laughs> bloody crash right there. We couldn't avoid sea view, but that's fine. Yeah, had a good day in Coral Bay. Didn't get sunburned. That's a good day as far as I'm concerned. Read a lot more of my book. Anyone who hasn't read this, anyone who hasn't read this, I highly recommend. Really good, really enjoying it. And I've not read a book in ages. First time I've really enjoyed a book in ages. But yeah, me and Sophie have had a very good time. Thought I'd show you guys the room. There's me. And yeah, there's not much to it apart from that. We're going to the pool tomorrow, just chilling out. So I'll show you guys the pool.
Enjoying our pool day today. Cheers. We've got a Corona. And some nuts. And some nuts for free. Diving. <laughs> mm. Getting hot. It's been a nice hot day. 31 degrees. There you go, 31 degrees today. This is our hotel look. I haven't really given you this perspective. And the pool. And there's a lot more pools as well. We've got a pool over there, a pool over there, and there's an indoor pool as well. But we've only been to this one. Here he is, look. Lenny. Lenny the lizard. He goes. He's gonna jump. Don't jump, Lenny, don't jump. I think he's just enjoying the shade. End of the holiday on the flight home. Got a window seat. We got a window seat this time. Yeah. <laughs> Have you taken off soon? Sleepy. I look sunburned. Yeah. <laughs> there we go. Give away that England down there. Thank <laughs> you. 